здесь я родилась, и здесь крестьяна в Иринате. Река Иринат, вот она. Отец мать, и нас было сетверо, два брата и две сестры. На жилье у нас никто не был. 40 лет ровно. Все седьмой десяток исполняться близко. Нет, а здесь уж осталось. А все 25 годов уж. Agafya Lykov is one of Russia's old believers, an ultra-Orthodox sect of Christianity that still exists in small communities around the world today. Fearing oppression and death at the hands of Stalin, Agafya's father Karp fled with his family into the Cyan Mountains of Siberia in 1936. Agafya was born into this harsh wilderness in 1944. The Lykov family lived undisturbed for 40 years, building a life in an environment where the winter temperatures commonly dip to minus 30, the summer growing season is short, and bears and wolves roam in abundance. However, food was always scarce, and in 1961, Agafia's mother, Akalina, starved herself to death so that her children would have enough food to eat. The area they settled in is currently over 160 miles from the nearest town. In summer, it's possible to reach the Lykov's cabin by a seven-day canoe trip. In winter, while we had heard rumors of a treacherous snowmobile route, it is virtually inaccessible by anything other than helicopter. In 1978, a team of Russian geologists spotted the Lykov's hillside farm from their helicopter. They later hiked in to meet them. It was the first contact with outsiders that the Lykovs had in over 40 years, and it marked the end of their isolation. Since that initial visit, the Lykovs have become famous in Russia as the family of Siberian hermits who didn't know that World War II took place. They also suffered unspeakable tragedy when the three elder children all died within weeks of each other presumably from pneumonia contracted from a visit by the geologists. Agafia's father Karp later died in 1988, 27 years to the day after his wife passed away. Despite sporadic visitors over the years, Agafia lived alone until 1997 when one of the geologists, a man named Yurafei Sedov, moved to a cabin down the hill from her. So now, 35 years after their first contact, Agafia is the only Lykov left, living the same way she has since she was born, and the only way she knows how, off the land, in one of the most inhospitable environments on Earth. Our journey to meet Agafia began with a 10-hour red-eye flight from New York to Moscow. Arriving in the morning, we met up with Gleb Lysichkin, the editor of Vice Russia, who would act as our host and translator. We then hopped on another flight to the city of Abakan, which is right in the middle of the country, just north of the Mongolian border. Abakan is the capital of the Kakassia region, and with 165,000 residents is modern, but by no means a teeming metropolis. We then met Igor, an employee of the Parks Department who would be accompanying us to see Agafia. This morning seems to be too foggy for flights, so we're waiting for a K call from airport. Uh, the guy is very excited, it can be too dangerous to fly today. I mean, we can even 
departure from here, but maybe we'll be not able to land there. So we should wait like an hour or more. Hopefully it happens today. Maybe not, who knows. We use this time to check out the town. Woo! <laughs> Ouch! The call finally came, so we jumped in a van and drove several hours south to the Shishenska. So this small airport called Shushansky is not really useful for normal passengers. No one was here for like 20 years or so that's pretty much useful for us because using this we can reach Agafia. However, by the time we arrived, some severe weather came and grounded our helicopter for another night. The unexpected delay gave us time to buy some things that were on Agafia's wish list. Namely, a goat and a rooster. On the third morning, the weather had slightly cleared and we were able to board the helicopter. Despite some technical difficulties, which made us second guess our choice of aircraft, by that afternoon we were finally in the air on the final leg of our journey. As civilization dropped away and the taiga grew, we made an unexpected stop in a snow-covered field to pick up Sergei, a Parks Department official who spends most of his time living in the mountains and has grown to know Agafia over his years there. Siberia is a region in the middle of Russia, covering about 5 million square miles, an area nearly one and a half times larger than the United States. The area is sparsely populated with few major cities like Abakan, and is mostly comprised of large swaths of untouched land called taiga, a subarctic forest known for extreme cold and massive amounts of wildlife. It was into this taiga that Agafia's father led his family in 1937. We landed on the frozen river, unloaded our gear and gift animals, and went to meet Agafia and Yurafe. The helicopter left and would only return in several days' time if the weather was good. Hiking out wouldn't be an option. <laughs> 